show so, me yeah, how to play like, guitar. So I'm, I'm the, so when you go to the four chord in this, in this, um, this, uh, a, 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 uh, a in this, in this a shape. So here's your, here's your A, then you go up to the four chord up there. And, uh, as we were saying, it's, a, it's this A chord shape just uh, brought up, uh, transposed to D. So you have your, your shape up on the on the, uh, the seventh fret now. And then your D7 would be with the uh, pinky on the, the high E string eighth fret. So you get a note note C. So D, D dominant, D7, the dominant chord. And then you have your, this, so this rift in. Very uh, kind of uh, typical in Robert Johnson's guitar playing, right? So, so it's a you some, so you so it starts on the upbeat of the first of the first uh, mm -hmm. first note of the first beat. So it happens twice in a row, and the first time it starts on it. An upbeat, and the second time it starts on a downbeat. That's uh, another one of these kind of syncopated rhythms. It's a very good riff to learn. It's, if you get get that under your belt, it's, you can use it in a lot of places. Is in um, Robert Johnson's playing, he uses that when he goes to the four chord. Usually, not not necessarily not necessarily on the one chord, although you could use that too. But it's uh, it, it works very well as a. Uh, um, a figure on when you were on the four chord in a in a, in a blues, blues. So then he goes, and then so then and then he goes into the five. Well, then you, you go, you, back, you go, go play to the one. five, right? So you got him. Oh, just to, to break that down a little bit. So okay. you start um, it's a eighth fret high string, then you do a hammer on pull off. So with your pinky, you know, your pointer on the fifth fret, and your pinky on the seventh fret. And you add, so then you end the phrase on the, the B string, 7th fret, you have that, the, you have your chord shape there, so. So I'm using this walk down, remember that from yeah, Candyman? Sure. So you need to do that over here also. So in Candyman, it's not... It's from the, it's from the fifth. Yeah. You're starting it, on the fourth. In, in Candyman, it's, uh, it's... It works differently uh, rhythmically. Right. So, um, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not that different. Oh, oh, oh. It's the same thing of that. It, uh, you're bridging the end of the end of the of the one chord going into the five chord. Mm -hmm. So, and having this walk down, this chromatic walk down to the note B, which is the you know the one of the notes in the G in the E major uh, the major chord. And then I was ending it out with this uh, riff on on, a, on D on the D chord when you go to the four chord. Uh, for so with the five chord uh, you're playing kind of like it's kind of simple just, uh, basic. Nothing too crazy there, then. So this is, um, where is this? I'm sort of taking little riffs from different Robert oh, Johnson songs and putting them together into one uh, blues and A. But this is... So I'm doing a, a walk-up from the first fret to the second fret. We have a D chord, or D, D dominant, D7 chord, uh, with... The note F sharp in the bass, and F sharp is the, th the middle of the D, D major triad, right? By using so, your hand properly, by the way. Yeah, I'm using my thumb uh, to and play. And your wrist is straight on to the guitar. Uh, I don't, yeah, I didn't really change change uh, anything too radically, but I mean, this is where my hand is when I'm playing this chord, so you can't do that, you can't do this. Mm -hmm. You have to have your, your wrist down. That, and the same, pretty much similar. You don't really change the position of your wrist for to make your regular first position chords, like an E, E, and so on and so forth. But then when you get to the thumb, you know, it's, really, it's not too radical different. I mean, the no, only the only really, is, but your, your wrist is straight. Yeah, the only the only real serious different difference in terms of where your 
wrist is, is that to get your the stretch um, in the, that A chord where you have your you put your pinky, physics, yeah. you have to move your, your wrist down a little bit, but nothing nothing too wild. And for this stuff, obviously, you know, if your thumb is wrapped around there, your, your wrist isn't going to be over no. here. So, so now, what does that say to me if I look? So, oh, but that that let's just do it. Yeah, play the whole thing for me. So, in the beginning, Play, you know. yeah, well. So listen, let me talk this.